morning guys happy saturday i am looking prettier than ever this morning so i thought i'd get on here and say hello uh just kidding i look ratchet but who cares um saturday morning i made some lemon poppy seed muffins for breakfast which have been my favorite since i was really little and they just like bring me back to like elementary school i don't know they're just so good so we had that for breakfast and now we're gonna go outside and do a little bit of yard work our garden is officially done for the year because it is it snowed here yesterday which was crazy so we're just gonna go and like clean that up and then we're gonna go for lunch with david's parents maybe do some shopping you know just weekend things we actually don't have a ton of plans so i thought it'd be kind of fun to do a vlog but yeah, happy Saturday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Obviously now it is Tuesday for you guys, but um, yeah, hope you guys had a good weekend. So I'm gonna go out and do some yard work with Dave. All right, we just finished outside. We got the garden pretty much put down. I don't know what to say. We took it out and we also cleaned out our car and just kind of organized the garage and stuff. So now, time to put some makeup on so I don't look like this anymore for the rest of the day. And now we're gonna go to lunch, which I'm so excited about. All the other guys got cash for days. I don't really care cause all my days got your name on them. Sign your name on them. I don't see the point of the bling bling bling. See me know my love for a single ring with your name on it. And I ain't sorry, no. I just want to love you. I just want to love you. All right, makeup is done and my in-laws actually just got here so i am gonna go talk with them and then we're gonna head to lunch and do a little shopping we made it to the restaurant that we're gonna eat lunch at we're eating at it's called cove if you live in minneapolis but it's super good it's like a has seafood kind of a little bit of everything so nice out today it's like a perfect fall day that's really nice out. Yeah. okay we are already back home um we went out for lunch, which was super good, and then we went to a few shops that we've been wanting to go to. I wanted to go to Crate and Barrel because this new line launched at Crate and Barrel. I can't remember who the designer is. I'll link it below if you guys want to look. Um, but she came out with a bunch of nursery stuff, and I wanted to go look at the crib and the chair. So we went there, and I actually love the crib. It's definitely like one of my top contenders for the nursery. Um, we don't know what we're having yet, so I haven't really thought like too much into it, but that's definitely like a crib that I think is so cute. So luckily they had it in store there, so we went there and just looked at it, and then um where else did we go oh then we went to west elm because we're actually going to probably be changing my guest room on this like main floor into maybe more of a t uh, like tv room like lounge area just because this is like the level that we hang out on the most and i feel like when the baby comes i'm gonna want like a cozier spot to like hang out here because right now it's like my kitchen table or like the guest bed and i just don't want to like lay in bed all day so i think we might be moving the bed downstairs and we might be getting a new couch and kind of making that into like a little tv room so we found a couch that we liked from West Elm online and they luckily had it as their floor model so we wanted to go look at that as well just because they're like bigger purchases so i feel like going into the store and actually like seeing them would be nice because the couch has to be like custom made so i would hate to like spend a ton of money and not like it so we went there and i actually loved the couch as well so that was kind of fun to do that and then we came home david's actually taking a nap it's just like a really like gross day out it's like super cloudy and kind of cold so He's taking a little nap and I'm actually going to go through some of these cookbooks 
because I think we're going to try to make dinner, not try, we're going to make dinner at home tonight, but neither of us could like think of anything that sounded good. So I sometimes like to just like look through these instead of going on Pinterest or something. I just feel like, I don't know, I like cookbooks. So we're kind of thinking something Mexican, but I'm not really sure. That is kind of, I guess, what I'm doing. It's like a very chill Saturday afternoon. Um, but if you guys have any Mexican recipes, let me know. I feel like we cook Mexican a lot, but it's like the same recipes. So uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any good ones. David loves enchiladas. So if you specifically have a good enchilada recipe, let me know. I've been making this one that my mom made us when we were growing up for like 10 years now. So I'm kind of just like wanting to branch out and maybe try something else. But it's definitely like one of his like favorite things. So anyways, that's my Saturday afternoon. Pretty chill. Good morning guys, it is Sunday morning and we just had breakfast and now we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning and we have a couple things like fixed around the house. I don't know, I feel like a typical Sunday morning. And then I'm gonna run to Target, make food. It's kind of what our Sunday looks like. But the first thing we're gonna try is to clean our sink and I've never done it before so I thought I would show you guys what we're gonna do in case any of you have this problem. So this is what kind of sink that we have which I love but since it's super white, it gets super dirty. And this isn't like something like I could like scrub off. It's like stained. So we bought some of this at the grocery store yesterday because I've heard that you can sprinkle it on and then it should clean it. So we're gonna test this and see if it works. Are you stuffy too today? Yeah. I wonder if our room was cold last night. Oh, the dehumidifier you should do today. Oh, that's what it Is was. It yes. Good call. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You can see it coming oh, off yeah. underneath there. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's what it looks like after, which it literally took everything, all the stains off, and I'm very impressed. We literally just sprinkled that on, left it on for a minute, and then used this little brush to scrub it, and it looks like a new sink. Okay, I just left home, and I am at Target. I need to get a couple things for a video that I'm filming today, so you already saw the video, so... Um, I'm making a gift basket for David to take to work so he works at a dental office and he's the only guy in the office so I thought it would be kind of fun to have him bring this like Halloween kind of like gift basket that everyone he's just gonna put it in like their lunchroom or something and everyone can kind of take something out of it so I'm just gonna get like smaller things like lotions and like chapsticks maybe like some cute like office pens and then just a bunch of treats and it's all gonna be like Halloween colors and that type of stuff so I like love doing that type of thing and um, I thought it was kind of fun that they were all girls so I feel like I know what they'll like and I just thought it would be kind of a fun thing to do so I have to go in and buy a couple things for that and then I'm gonna head home but I did also see that the dollar spot has their Christmas stuff out and I know that probably sounds crazy to some of you but it's just I love Christmas and if you don't buy it right away then it's gone so hopefully they have it out here and I might buy a couple things but let's go inside okay sorry I totally meant to film in there but it was like a Sunday like later in the morning and it was so busy so I just kind of wanted to get in and out of there but in case you didn't watch the Halloween video, I'll just show you quickly what I got. Okay, so basically I tried to find stuff that was like either orange or black or like Halloween-ish. So, and I also tried to do more individual things just because of everything. So 
found these cute little popcorns that are obviously black and orange. Just some candies. Um, I bought these dark chocolate peanut butter kind bars that are orange, obviously. I'm gonna take them out of the package. I bought Coke Zero, and I'm just gonna take like a few out of this pack to put in the little basket. I'm not gonna do all of those. And then they have a Keurig machine, so I thought it'd be kind of cute to put in some of this like pumpkin coffee. And then it's at a dental office, and I saw these, and it just, it needed to happen. I thought they were so funny. Um, I'm gonna put this little guy in there just to be, you know, spooky. I got some chocolate covered pretzels that are Halloween-ish. And then this is more of like the beauty stuff. So I found these cute eye masks, um, some nice like little ponytails. I bought these two color of nail polishes. This is actually what I have on my nails right now. It's in the color uh, Wicked. It's like one of my favorite SC nail polishes. And then of course I just did this color um to be festive and then i found these in like their travel section it's just like a little body lotion i got a couple of those and then i got this lip balm which orange ginger doesn't sound like super amazing to me but i just had to get it because it was orange <laughs> and then i bought some gum i did also buy some of these smart sweet gummy worms but i might keep them for my niece and nephew just because i feel like this is gonna already like fill the basket so i might keep those for them as well as these little cookies that i found that are so cute and i actually have three nieces no two nieces and a nephew so i might keep these for them as well i'm just gonna kind of fill this basket see if it's filled up and if i need to use these i will but that is what i got them i think it'll be so cute i'm gonna put a little tag on there it says something and yeah, it was kind of fun to do. I just spent the last like four hours filming that DIY video. I am so tired, but I was determined to go for a walk today because I just, we didn't go for one yesterday and I was kind of feeling like super lazy. So I'm gonna go make myself go for a walk even though I feel like I could lay down and like go to bed. But it's freezing out today. I think it's only like 30 something. So it's very cold. So I'm going to go put a jacket on, a hat. And I know once I walk, I'm going to feel better. So we're just going to do it. All right. This is my first time wearing a beanie this year. It kind of feels weird, but I love wearing hats. So I'm happy about it. But we're going to head out and go for a walk. Here's the little doormat that I just did. I think it looks so cute out here. David has a cute outfit on. I thought I would show you guys because I feel like I always talk about what I'm wearing, but I feel like you guys would like to see this. So I got this jacket for him at Zara just probably like a month or so ago, but it's super cute. It's like perfect for this time of weather when it's not super freezing, but uh, it's just so cute. Then he got a new little hat yesterday. He got some new tennis shoes on from On Running, which are super cool. Pretty much everything picked up from you except for these sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look cute. Oh my gosh, we just got back from our walk. I think we walked like two miles, or how far was that? Yeah, it's like two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. I don't know, we were out there for like an hour, and it is so cold. I feel like you could tell my cheeks are red. But uh, I actually wanted to show you guys a project that we're going to be doing. So we've just been kind of brainstorming on things that we can do to the house before the baby gets here, just to make it... A little better and just like laid out in a better way so obviously we're gonna do the nursery which is the biggest thing but on our main level where our kitchen is it's kind of like the main area that at least I mean David and I hang out in there probably like 80% of the day otherwise we're like upstairs in our bedroom or downstairs watching TV but this main floor is definitely where we hang out the most and especially me like I hardly go downstairs so what I'm thinking of changing this guest room so this is on the main level of our house and I'm thinking about making our basement kind of like a guest suite so moving all of this down to the like lower level we'll still have our couch and tv down there just 
because it's just gonna have to be what it is for now but thinking of moving all of this out and making this a tv room so we would get a new couch and then probably like hang the tv here just because like i said we're always on this level and we don't have anywhere to just kind of like hang out and be like just chill everything else is just like our bar or like at our dinner table so i just want an area that we can like come and hang out with the baby watch tv and i'm thinking that's what we're gonna do so i'll honestly move like all of this out and then we have a closet in here that i really don't use for anything but like just random like video stuff so i thought because we are always on this level it'd be kind of nice to change this closet into like kind of a toy closet or like an area maybe put like a changing table in here just because like i said we're always on this level and just having that down here might be super nice and like take this door off like the hinges so that it's just like always open and i thought something that would be super fun is to put like wallpaper or something on this because I don't mind the mess you guys it's literally like a storage closet but just doing like a fun wallpaper or something in here since this will like always be open and I want it just to like look obviously cute so I'm getting inspired and just trying to like figure out what will look best in this room I think I showed yesterday the couch that we're thinking it's gonna be pretty big in this room, but we're not gonna be here forever, so we don't wanna like buy a specific like small couch just for this room. So it's probably gonna be a little big for the area, but we're it's gonna be fine. So if you guys have any ideas for this room, this is kind of what it looks like right now. But thinking just like a little family room, TV room in here will be like just somewhere we'll always like want to hang out in. So say goodbye to the little guest room that I have loved, but just feel like there's better use for it now. So yeah. We are gonna start dinner now. So on Sundays, I feel like we always make a bigger breakfast in the morning so we don't eat lunch. And then we make an earlier dinner. So it's only four o'clock, but we're gonna start making dinner, which we are gonna try. We have never made lasagna before which i know is like a very basic thing but we've just have never made it so that is what we're gonna attempt to do we're actually gonna cook together and hopefully it turns out we're just browning hamburger and hot italian sausage i think with onion is there anything else in here garlic. and garlic so we're just gonna cook that All right, everything is ready to assemble. So we obviously have the noodles, the meat sauce. Um, this is like a ricotta, egg, and parsley mixture. And then we have Parmesan and mozzarella cheese. So we're just gonna go ahead and layer it. All right, so we're just gonna let this sit for like, I think 10 to 15 minutes to let it cool a little bit because clearly it is freaking hot. Okay, here is the final guys. It looks amazing. Ready? Yep. Extremely good. Wow. Pretty good for first time. So good, you guys. I can't believe you haven't made lasagna before. I know, before. especially it's... how much you love lasagna, or like Italian food. Yeah, and like we cook a lot. We just never have <laughs> done it. Wow, I'm very impressed. Well, if you guys want to make lasagna, I'll put the recipe we followed down below. We just found it on Pinterest. So, yum.